You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Sports fans, let's talk about the Marxist NBA of China. The NBA is about 15 or so games into their 2021 2022 NBA season. And in the offseason, all the talk, all the hype was about the L.A. Lakers because LeBron James engineered a super team. Now, on this channel here, we have been saying this Lakers team is super duper old. And I don't believe there's any way in the world they will win an NBA title. They are just too old and it would just be a matter of time before the injury start. And what do you know? LaChina James got injured. LaChina James hasn't been seen in roughly uh, two weeks, if I'm not mistaken. Beginning of November was the last time anybody saw him on an NBA court because he's injured. He actually may be coming back in a few days. Don't really care because I reject the Marches NBA of China. And it seems like now Stephen A. Smith of ESPN has come out and said we have been saying about the Lakers. Stephen A. Smith now is on record saying that it is over. LeBron James won't win a championship this just this year. He says LeBron James will never win a championship the rest of his NBA career. And his reasoning, we're actually going to be diving into that in this video, guys. First, check out blackandwhitenetwork.com for exclusive content. We post private videos over there just for the members. Also free stuff. And also you can get your merch. Just hit the shop tab and it will take you to the Black and White Network store. You can actually get 15% off anything in a merch store right now. Use the discount code THANKFUL until Black Friday. Get your LaChina James shirt, Media's The Real Virus, and whatever else you want in the merch store. With that being said, guys, let's get into this. Stephen A. Smith says, it's over for LeBron James. I think LeBron has won his last title. Man, this is absolutely hilarious right here. LaChana James is out. The Lakers are struggling. And actually, if you look at the NBA standings right now, uh, the Lakers, they would be in that play-in game scenario. Now, I know it's only 15 games in, but they are 8-7. and 8-7 seven. and seven with a stacked roster names. But when you get Russell Westbrook on the team, that changes everything. And of course, Golden State has had a resurgence now, and they are 12 and 2. They took out the uh, Brooklyn Nets uh, last night, demolished them. And Stephen A. Smith believes that the Warriors are the reason why LeBron will not win another title. So let's go ahead. Let's listen to this clip here on ESPN First Take from Stephen A. Smith himself. Here we go. I'm going to be in the Bay Area for the finals this year. Warriors going to the finals. Oh, let me say, hold, 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 let me say something else. I think LeBron has won his last title. I think it's over. Okay. He said it right there. LeBron has won his last title. It is over. I'm I glad I'm glad. 15 it's games into the season I, I, you I, I, feel no, that way. It's not, it's not LeBron's fault. I mean, LeBron is going to be LeBron. He's going to come back. He's going to do what he's going to do. And he's also injury prone right now, Stephen A. Just throwing it in there. But I'm just saying to you that collectively, when you look at the, I mean, Russell Westbrook's a member of the Lakers. Okay. LeBron's a member of the Lakers. And I'm telling you, they ain't winning no chip. Okay. That's what I'm saying. So when I think <laughs> about OBJ and the Los Angeles Rams, I think they got a shot. Obviously, you got Green Bay, Tampa Bay, Dallas, and all of that to deal with in the NFC. And I get all of that. But you ain't got to play everybody. You just got to play about two of them before you get to the Super Bowl. I'm just saying, I like OBJ's chances with the Rams more so than I like the Lakers' chances of getting to the finals. And I agree with that, too. The, the Rams look pretty good. I'm not sold on Matthew Stafford. Matthew Stafford did not look good in his last game, but they're trying to compare the Rams and the Lakers but I do believe that the Rams have a better shot than the super old L.A. Lakers. This is it. I mean, ain't no coming back from this. So 15 games into the season, I think it's about 15, yeah. the Lakers, about and 15. Eight and seven, yeah. So you're going to now forecast that they're not going to win a championship despite 
LeBron not even being there right, right now, and he's right. coming back. That's right. And, and this is not only oh, and, they, and this it's is only the first half this, of on, the, it's, this is me forecasting that LeBron that you expect to see, and the LeBron that I expect to see will be back. I okay. think LeBron's gonna be every bit as great. So you don't as he's think, been, and, and you it don't ain't gonna think be that, enough. And you don't think Frank Vogel gonna, gonna figure out how to get the defense right by the time we get to the second half of the season, and you don't think that no. they're gonna figure out the right role for Westbrook. You don't think so. You think they went out. On the limb and I did think, all this for nothing. I think the Lakers. And we won't make any moves no, no, before the no, trade no, deadline. See, you see, you twisting the narrative. No, I'm now. not. Yes, you are. And I'm going to tell you I'm that. Just being... I think the Lakers are big time. I think the Lakers can beat anyone but the Warriors. Okay. I think the Warriors are going to take them out. Okay, I that is different. what I believe. So he's all in on the Golden State Warriors. He said that the Lakers are bit time. I can't tell this Lakers team is bit time. I'm sorry. I believe what Bill Parcell says, you are what your record says you are. And right now, the Lakers eight and seven, they are mediocre. They are not bit time. Yeah, the Warriors, you know, they look good. But I don't believe this is the same uh, Warriors team, you know, when they win it in title, especially, you know, since they don't have KD. They don't even have Klay Thompson uh, back yet. So I guess that's kind of a positive, you know, for the Warriors. But the Warriors have been feasting on playing at home. They've only played five row games the entire season. The entire season, the Warriors have played. Uh, they've actually played uh, nine games at home. So we'll have to see how the whole season plays out. Uh, Stephen A. believes that the Warriors are going to win two of the next three titles. I don't know about that. I'm pretty sure, you know, especially um, in the East, you got the Bucks. I'm pretty sure Giannis have something to say about that. But what do you guys think of this? What do you guys think of Stephen A. Smith saying it is over for LeBron James winning NBA titles? If the Lakers actually do flame out in the playoffs for the second year in a row, what kind of moves will LaChina James actually make? Will he actually try to go to China and recruit some players to come over? Probably so. I don't know, man. But this team... It's just way too old, and the injuries are starting to set in. LeBron James, the first domino to fall on the injury tab. It's only a matter of time before uh, Anthony Davis. He's not going to stay healthy, and we know that. He's the youngest player, too. And all these other old players they got, they will end up on the injury list. Injuries will take this team out. There is no doubt about it. Yeah, when LeBron comes back, yeah, they can win some games. But at the end of the day, this team is just way, way too old, and there's nothing you can do to beat Father Time whatsoever. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.